That's after the World Trade Center was attacked. Hijackers crashed the third plane into the Pentagon, killing 59 people on board and 125 civilian and military personnel inside the building. WGN's Mike Lowe sat down with two of our longest serving congressional members as they remember September 11th and the decisions they made in the aftermath with a new perspective. On the morning of September 11th, 2001, Congressman Jan Schakowsky was exercising in the Capitol gym. The woman who works there said, you have to come and look at television. Something happened at one of the Twin Towers in, in New York. And I came out and I was looking, oh my God, what a tragedy, what an accident. It's uh, hit at a slight angle into the World Trade Center. I can see I can see flames now coming out the side of the building and smoke continues to billow. And then the second plane hits. I said, well, th th this is not an accident. This is an attack. She ran up to her office. My staff was glued to the, to the television. I said, well, let's gather what are, what are we supposed to do now and then I looked out the window and I saw the smoke from the Pentagon because um, that was another place of attack nobody knew what the next target might be and then it dawned on them the White House or the US Capitol could be next and then suddenly through the hall came um, the Capitol Police yelling get out of here evacuate 9-11, I was in Tel Aviv, Israel. Congressman Danny Davis was overseas at a peace summit to discuss the role of the United States in bringing an end to the genocide in Rwanda. We were talking about peace agreements and peace settlements and how we could bring the conflict to an end. An official came racing down the hallway. I said, Danny, your country is under attack. And I says, Victor, you got to be kidding. It's too early in the morning. He says, no, come look. They rushed to a TV and watched the news coverage in stunned silence. We saw it, but we couldn't believe it. They also watched as American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon. It was a feeling as if the world was coming to an end, that everybody in the room just got transfixed. We were standing there, not believing what our eyes were showing us. It was clear the world had changed. Davis would be stuck for a week in Israel as all flights were grounded. It was the uncertainty, uh, serious feelings of uncertainty, just not knowing not knowing. Election authorities in Florida hadn't done a real good job there. The nation was divided politically after the bitterly contested 2000 election and Bush versus Gore recount. But Schakowsky remembers politics were set aside for a brief moment of unity. I learned that there was going to be a gathering on the Capitol steps where people would sing the Star Spangled Banner. And it was one of the most moving moments, really, of my life. We're so streaming. Where we stood together, Republican and Democrat, and we said, we are standing here strong, singing with all our hearts. It soon became clear to both longtime representatives that they would be making consequential decisions, taking historic votes on war and peace, working to reorganize the government and to create the Department of Homeland Security. And they would have to decide on controversial measures like the Patriot Act. It reinforced for me the recognition and understanding how serious this business of being an elected official is. The Patriot Act that I felt, I voted against it. I felt that it was intrusive into the security of individuals, of information, um, too much surveillance available on the part of the, uh, uh, of the federal government, not thought through as well as it, as it should be. Both Davis and Schakowsky agree that the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq and the much more ambiguous war on terror ultimately distracted and drained the nation 
costing lives and resources. There were a series of very bad decisions that have entangled us in the region for far too long. General Sherman had the best explanation of war that I've ever heard, and that is war is hell. The 20-year military campaign in Afghanistan only came to an end this month. About a, a month later that um, the, the vote was taken, to go into Afghanistan and quite frankly if I could have looked ahead and seen that 20 years later we would still be there I'm not sure I would have voted the way I did in favor of going into Afghanistan. For Davis 20 years of perspective has made a lesson of that day even clearer that the United States is only strong when it's united. We all had to hang together or we would hang separately. And while Schakowsky remembers the threat of an attack on the Capitol on 9-11, it never came. Instead, an attack happened 20 years later at the hands of radicalized American citizens in a divided nation. The biggest risk to Americans right now are domestic terrorists. Think of that. Mike Lowe, WGN News.